the next season of Fortnite has officially been leaked. From everything that will be arriving inside of the new season of Fortnite from the brand new upcoming Battle Pass, everything arriving inside of the Fortnite Chapter 1 Island as it looks like it's going to be a little bit different compared to how we originally remember it, and also new information about Fortnite Chapter 5 as we do know that will officially be releasing on December 3rd. So trust me, you want to make sure you are staying tuned to the very end of this video as we are going to be going over everything. But quickly, we are are still gifting five the most loyal subscribers every single day inside of the brand new item shop and today we do actually have the arrival of michael myers available in the item shop to pick up as a part of his brand new bundle so if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift all you have to do is drop a like on this video make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and drop a comment down below with your epic games id and if you happen to be picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself do consider using my support creator code YTRA as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag yeah. So we have just officially seen a brand new map change in game right now today, which is actually the removal of the time machine from Frenzy Field. And all of the chapter one props have actually been removed from this location too. Courage JD has just posted this video where you can actually see that he has actually had the trucking oasis sign delivered to his house. Which is kind of similar to what we did see in chapter one on the build up to season five. We did see the Durburger head was actually removed from the location at Greasy Grove. Obviously in the season five trailer, we could see that the Durburger was transported to the real world. They definitely can't expect other content creators to get different props that were obviously located at this POY to obviously show up at their house soon. And the build up to the release of the brand new season, considering it should be releasing by next Friday. And while we do know that next season we are in fact going to be going back to the chapter 1 island that we will be rotating through every season of chapter 1 on the build up to chapter 5, we'll be seeing all of the live events be repeated yet again going from the very first rocket launch event all the way up until we do get the black hole event which is obviously how we did move from the chapter one island to the chapter two island and it looks like this live event is going to play out a little bit differently to how we did remember it considering we're going to be going to a completely brand new island that we've never seen before especially seeing as how we will be going back to the chapter one island with agent jones and also amy 2.0 who are also said to be included inside of this brand new season's battle pass as this one is going to be a little bit smaller smaller than your regular battle pass we will only have one month to be able to complete it so you can expect it to obviously have roughly 30 to 50 tiers and for the very first skin of next season's battle pass it is looking like amy 2.0 will officially be getting her very own outfit we haven't heard from her since the very start of fortnite chapter 4 which is definitely pretty unfortunate considering i'm pretty sure she could have popped up at any other time we do know what the skin looks like thanks to an epic game survey as we did even see in chapter 4 season 1 that she did craft herself a body thanks to this loading screen right here where you can obviously see it is called amy 1.0 for any of you guys who have been waiting for that skin you definitely can't expect to see it arrive inside of the next season and it's actually said to be the tier one skin that you will be able to unlock and it does look like we're also going to be seeing the arrival of a brand new collaboration skin which is actually going to be peter griffin this time around honestly is about time considering we've had leaks going all the way back to fortnite chapter 2 that peter griffin would be getting his very own skin with some other cosmetics even did see this on one of the epic games live streams they actually accidentally leaked that we would be getting a family guy collab which makes sense considering at the very start of fortnite chapter 4 we did get the doom guy as a skin that we were able to get inside of that battle pass for one of the very first seasons that we will be getting off of the fortnite chapter 4 island it looks like we're finally going to be seeing peter griffin most likely some other cosmetics such as obviously a brand new pickaxe brand new bird is the word emo as you can see up on screen right here which i definitely think looks pretty hilarious and also the addition of a stewie griffin back bling, which i definitely do think looks pretty cool so hopefully we do see the return of pets at some point in the season considering we've had a few of them over the course of the last few seasons now as we could even see the arrival of brian from family guy too be sure to leave your thoughts on that down in the comments as i definitely do think that this collaboration is going to be a pretty fitting one for the release of fortnite chapter one again also keep in mind this is only going to be one entire month of fortnite chapter one so be sure you are enjoying it while you can considering we will be moving off of it yet again the good news is we will be seeing the loophole change and also brand new map changes over the course of that entire month that will reflect each season that we had in chapter one 
We will obviously see Paradise Palms make a return to the island at some point over the course of this month, along with the iceberg that we got inside of Season 7. When we get to the very end of November and we do arrive inside of Season X, you most likely can expect to see the Brutes make a return to the Fortnite island as well. Be sure to let me know down in the comments out of all of the seasons, which one are you most looking forward to returning to? That brings us to our very next skin, which is actually said to be a new version of one of the Chapter 1 Battle Pass skins, which is actually going to be a reskin version of Blackheart. Here is that skin itself, as we personally do think that this one looks a lot better than the original we did get as a tier 100 outfit all the way back in Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 8. With this brand new skin, you most likely can expect to see some other colored edit styles, just like the original Blackheart skin, so that's definitely going to be a nice addition to that skin too. Seeing as how he did make his way when we did get the pirate ship as a brand new POY over at Lazy Lagoon. And next up, it looks like we're also going to be seeing a really old version of Jonesy inside of next season's Battle Pass as well, in the form of this Polygon Jonesy skin. Considering we're going back to the Fortnite Chapter 1 island due to the time machine, this obviously would make sense, as this is more or less going to be an early version of Jonesy, especially with the graphics on him. We did see this on an Epic Games survey, and personally, I do think that the skin looks pretty funny, and I'm definitely really excited to be able to get my hands on it. This is set to have other edit styles as well, such as the default skin that was actually a part of Fortnite Chapter 2 and also Chapter 3. But obviously this time around having that polygon looking effect to the skin itself. But also with the brand new season, it looks like we're going to be seeing the return of all of the old weapons that we had over the course of that chapter as well. As it looks like the OG Scar will be making a return, especially with all of the old gun sound effects that it did have before they were changed. And also the addition of the pump shotgun, the original original one that was vaulted all the way back in Fortnite Chapter 3. I am personally wondering if they will actually bring back Double Pump as that was obviously a big thing all the way back in Chapter 1 and it definitely would be a nice addition to see make its way to the game very briefly. And to top it all off, it looks like we're also going to be getting the addition of the OG graphics, all the way back from Chapter 1, which obviously made the game look really old compared to now. I know this is going to be the first time a lot of people are going to be able to experience Chapter 1, considering they may not have played until Fortnite Chapter 2 or Chapter 3, but I definitely would jump in as we are said to be getting the addition of tons of challenges over the course of this month, along with all brand new rewards that we will be able to get inside of Chapter 1 again. There's even talks of us being able to actually buy some some of the old Battle Pass skins that we had from Chapter 1, which I honestly think would be pretty crazy. If you guys would be able to get any of the Battle Passes from Fortnite Chapter 1, be sure to let me know down in the comments which one would you pick up, as I personally would love to be able to pick up the Season 2 Battle Pass if I didn't already own it. The next season's map changes are looking to be very, very fast paced, considering it's only going to be lasting one month that we should only be getting one update on the Fortnite Chapter 1 Island. We also do have a look at the final tier skin that you will be able to get inside of the next season of Fortnite, which you guys definitely want to make sure you're staying tuned for, as we're going to be getting into it very shortly. But next up, it is looking like we're going to be getting a reskin version of the Bright Bomber skin, who obviously did release it in the very first season of Chapter 1. But this time around, she does look a little bit different, as she does obviously have brand new wings and also a unicorn horn sticking out of her head. And I don't know about you guys, but I definitely do think that this skin looks pretty cool, as we could even be getting the addition of the Brilliant Bomber as well, who was obviously inside of the game files for quite a while now. It was originally supposed to be the very first Fortnite crew skin that we were actually actually able to get in the game, but for some reason it was actually removed. Who knows, they could obviously release this inside of the next season of Fortnite, or possibly even inside of the item shop, considering how much of a staple the Bright Bomber was in Fortnite all the way back in that very first chapter of the game. But be sure to let me know down in the comments what do you think about it, as I definitely do think it looks pretty cool too. And finally, for the very last skin, is obviously going to be the final tier outfit you guys are going to be able to get inside of Chapter 1 again, which is actually looking to be the legend who we obviously do know as Agent Jones, officially getting his very own 7 armor. We did know that this was eventually going to be happening for quite a while now, especially as it was teased all the way back during the Collision Live event. My guess is we will obviously get his debut as the legend during the Black Hole event we get at the very end of this next season, which is definitely going to be pretty cool considering 
feature we already know tons about this outfit such as it's gonna have tons of edit stuff that we will be able to unlock and it should also have upgradable parts that we will be able to upgrade throughout the course of fortnite chapter one that's definitely gonna be pretty cool and we definitely can't expect to see what else is going on with the rest of the members of the seven ever since they were kidnapped at the very end of fortnite chapter three when they were consumed by the chrome hopefully they do make the return to the storyline very very soon as i know everybody missed them over the course of chapter four so if you guys are excited for the very next season of fortnite be sure to let me know down in the comments as it is looking like the very next season is actually going to be called fortnite og we'll be sure to keep you guys updated on any more information we do get about this considering we are also said to be seeing the arrival of the brand new lego collaboration next season which has been in the works for quite a while now so this is definitely going to be a pretty nice collaboration as it is also said to include a mini battle pass but unfortunately guys that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video and if you did watch all the way to the very end of it be sure to drop this word down in the comments along with your epic games id and if you did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you're new and thanks for watching